Is it really true that you have to be an asshole to succeed in business and nice guys just finish last? Everybody, what's up? Welcome to another segment of Wins and Loses, where I'm sharing my journey as an entrepreneur, building my business, my wins and my struggles. And this week, I want to share a struggle. So something that was I actually found out or brought to my attention over the last week is as I'm growing my business and I'm starting to build a team around me and I work with many different uh, people and contractors to help me run my business, it turns out um, that the fact that I am I guess a nice person, or at least the way that my business coach um, brought it to my attention was that the fact that I, I'm trying to be nice and trying to get everybody to like me and uh, not hurt anybody's feeling is actually um, stopping me from holding people up to the expectations and standards that I actually expect them to do the work. And so when somebody doesn't do something as I expect them to do, or as we've talked about this, or it's something just isn't up to standard instead of holding them up to it and having a tough conversation about the situation I might find excuses why it's okay that it, they didn't do their job correctly or maybe I should help them or maybe I should just do it myself and you know I've read enough business books to know that it's a problem and if and you know the one in specific that I'm thinking about is Radical Candor a book which I read last year which basically means that if you want to help people do their best work you have to be candid you you have to be candor and tell them the truth tell them you're not doing good enough of work but when I'm thinking about my life and the conversation that I have with the people that I work with turns out that this is really hard for me and <clears throat> over the last week I'm kind of noticing myself from the side and seeing that really I find it it's like it's like having a difficult conversation with your partner. Um, I really just try to avoid it, and that's actually hurting my business. The the funny thing that also happened last week is that I've also find out that the same behavior or type of behavior also happens in my home life. So when I have conflicts with my kids, or at least I'm trying to avoid conflicts with my kids, so if they do something which is not allowed or improper, um, I find it hard to, you know, set the boundaries and, and have conflicts with them because, again, I'm trying to be nice. I, I want them to like me. I don't like being in the position of, you know, fighting and having arguments. So this kind of like fear that I have from tough conversation, and I'm not really sure why is that, maybe because I need everybody to like me or maybe just because... I'm afraid of tough conversation. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's actually limiting my ability to grow my business um, and also, you know, educate my kids. So this is definitely something that I need to um, I need to work on. And again, thinking about this book, Radical Candor, I know that this is the right thing to do for them because, again, if you don't tell people that they didn't do good enough work. Um, then they're not going to be able to grow and then you're just keeping them at a position which is unfit for them. So what has been working, and I've been trying to work on this for the past week or two, and what seems to be working out for me is just to plan ahead before the conversation with that person. So really come prepared in terms of writing down what you want to talk about, writing down the kind of the framework for how you think like what are the standards that you're going to maintain from now on and just be very very clear about it and tr again try not to do this in a in a conflict way but it is a tough conversation so for me what seems to be working is just coming prepared now one thing that my business coach mentioned was that there's two ways to solve this one of them is you know i learned how to deal with conflicts and the other way is i'll just bring in people who are self-driven enough to maintain their own standards so that I don't have to maintain it for them, um, which sounds like the <laughs> the easy solution. But, um, you know, I've been spending a lot of time on hiring lately and just interviewing tons of people. And it seems very, very hard to find these type of people. Um, so it's not actually the easy way around because finding self-driven people, people who have really high standards, very high, um, you know, internal motivation and standards and and quality of work is very, very difficult. So it seems in meanwhile, I have to work on both of them. And 
if I want to grow as a business owner, I don't think that you have to be an asshole, but you certainly have to know how to hold people to their standards and manage difficult, difficult conversation. Otherwise, it's all going to fall down on you. And at the end of the day, you can't do everything yourself um, without being too stressed out and without having things falling apart. So this is one thing that I'm struggling with at the moment and looking to solve. Um, hope that was helpful for you to hear that everybody goes through this and uh, being nice, I guess, have some downfalls when it comes to business process. Again, not being nice, but being afraid of conflicts and managing difficult conversation. So hoping you have good luck with your business journey and see you on the next video.